Right, we always talk about preparing our ground baits and pellets and baits and stuff at home. I I always do this every time I go fishing. I'm not a massive fan of mixing my bait up the night before. I always feel like, I'm sure it'd be okay, but I, I like to do it like literally before I've even put any gear in the house. So I'm about to go fishing and I know it's going to take me a little while to travel there, get there, have a breakfast, chat to some people. So it'll be a good two hours until I'm even probably on the bank. Um, and, and minimum two hours for I'm fishing, probably even a bit longer to be fair. So the, the ground baits will have loads of time to absorb all the particles and fully swell up. And that's, it, honestly, it's so important because when you're fishing, if your ground bait isn't, hasn't like taken on all the particles and your pellets haven't taken on all the water and all, all those sorts of things, as you're fishing, it will change, your mix will change, the consistency of your mix will change, how your pellets work, they'll change. And it's not good. Honestly, I've had it before where I've been catching fish and like, then all of a sudden I'll, my mix will run out or I'll get some more mix. And it's never, ever the same. So I'm a massive fan of trying to prepare my stuff the night before. Now I've got a, a feeder masters match coming up and it's gonna be ground bait uh, around a feeder. And it's going to be pellets, obviously, around the feeder as well. So let's have a little look at what I'm, what I would do. And this is what I tend to do. Like so, like the night before, I'll get what I want ready in the bucket, so I can just walk in in the morning. I've got an old bottle, just tap water. I tend to put it in there night before. Again, I'm trying to save myself a bit of time. So just get my pellets. So what you know, any time when I'm getting ready the day before, and I always use a bucket. I love a big open bucket so my bait isn't like overly soaked up or anything like that. And then I get my ground bait mix, which is going to be some F1 original and a bit of F1 dark as well. Just going to darken it off a bit. So that's going to be my mix for this match. I love, you know, I'm fishing for F1, so it'll be the perfect mix around the feeder. And I don't need loads of bait. Um, just, to, just don't like... I just want that sort of like in-between colour. Look at that. That's that's going to be absolutely perfect for me for tomorrow. All right, so that's how I would do it. And I sort of go to bed with the mixes already like that dry. And then now in the morning, what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak the baits up. So I'm big into bait booster. I always like to put some on my bait. So if you're going to add something to it, let's say whatever it is you're going to add to your bait, if it's nothing, it doesn't matter, but I like to do it. And this is the stage I like to do it in. So both mixes are going to get a, a glug of this. So I'll just literally glug it in the middle. I'm not even going to spread it round. There we go. And then exactly the same with this one. Nice big glug in the middle. Perfect. And then get my water. Just straight on top of it like that. All right. And then just work it round. So... Basically, distribute that all through the mix. These pellets will take on a bit more water there. There we go. That's perfect. So, I'm going to mix those pellets there. You guys can't smell this, but <laughs> it smells great. It's like a caramel smell. So, look. This is the amount of water that you need for preparing your pellets. Look. Almost just breaking the surface. Tiny bit more, actually. So, look. Just like that. That's it. Perfect. So, the pellets are almost just breaking the surface all the way round. And I'll literally leave those. So those to one side. I will put the bucket on top. So same with the ground bait. Just pour a bit of water. And when you're mixing your ground bait, you want it to be over wet. You want everything to have a chance to absorb loads of water. So pellet-based ground baits, they take on so much water. It's crazy. And I just keep mixing that there. A bit more, even a bit more because it will dry out a lot. All right, so literally just give it a really good wet. So there's plenty of water in that ground, but I'm mean, gonna give it more. Really wanna make sure those pellets are nicely blown up. So there, there we go, work that. That's absolutely spot on. So all I will do now, it's dead simple. When I get to the bank, I'll, use a, I'll push that ground bait through a riddle. If you've got a drill and you want to use a drill, brilliant. I love using a drill. But this is, I'm just trying to show you as if, you know, if you haven't got a drill. But if you haven't got a drill, you need to have a riddle. So basically, you can leave that ground bait like that. And when you 
get to the bank, I can assure you this will be almost bone dry. But you can push it through the riddle to make sure any bits where there's a bit more water will obviously break it all down. And we'll try and I'll show you it in a bit when it's dried out. All right. And all I do to travel to the bank is get this bucket, put it on top of the pellet bucket because I don't want the pellets to sort of over expand. I want to like keep them trapped, if you like, and then get my riddle. That's it. So into the van. When I get out on the bank, we'll have a look at this bait. So we've got to come on the bank and here is the bait as prepared. Um, like I said, I literally haven't touched it now since I left home. So that's a little look. So there's the ground bait. And this will be like a bit of a solid block, if you like, where, look, where it's just sort of absorbed all the water. But I mean, that is bone dry, bone dry when you compared with how I had it before. So all I'll do is literally run it through that riddle. But that means, and if we get close up, hopefully you can see, look how blown up all the particles are. But they're all really soft all the way through. And that's the, if I, like, if I like, sort of rub it with my fingers, you see they sort of just disintegrate. That's how you've got to have your bait. Ground bait's there to attract the fish into the peg and sort of as they eat it, not fill them up. So now I know if I wet this up a little bit, I've got the perfect ground bait all the way through. And then underneath, there's those beautiful pellets, look totally blown up again these will be like a solid block so just get a hand underneath it just smell that flavor as well and look perfectly prepared two mil pellets all completely blown up stick together nice if i need them to and that's why preparing your bait at home you've got fresh bait that's well prepared so dead happy with that hopefully i'll uh, catch a few fish